Apparently now, you have to be, only gay people can play gay characters. In movies, in TV, that's just the world we live in. So if that's the case, well, I'll get to if my if that's the case. What am I talking about? Disney is going to have their first openly. They said they use the word openly because I guess other characters could have maybe been gay, like in, there was one in Beauty and the Beast. But um, first openly gay character in Disney Jungle Cruise, which it stars The Rock and uh, Emily Blunt. Don't really know what it's going to be, but it's basically going to be a movie based on the ride, The Jungle Cruise. Which sounds cool enough, but I think his name's Jack Whitehall. Whitehall. Uh, he's a British comedian, I believe. I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, he's not gay. He looks gay, uh, and he's playing a gay character. Uh, and some, probably not many, but some really loud gay people have a problem with it. And this isn't a new thing. I already talked about the Scarlett Johansson thing, where uh, the trans community was pissed that she wasn't. You know, that she was going to play a trans person in a movie and it should go to a trans actor, which I thought was fucking hilarious on the, on the comment section on YouTube. I kind of had some, I had like a rant and I was like, name one, name one trans actor that could play this role. Just one. That, that was my thing. And then I think three people named one in the comments. They, I'm not kidding. They all named the same person. The character in this movie in question, the Scarlett Johansson one, is a female to male, uh, fat, white, short uh, crime kingpin in Philadelphia. They named the trans person in uh, Orange is the New Black, who's like six foot something, uh, black and female to male uh, no no male to female could not be for like that is the last possible human being that could play the the role that i just described in terms of like so i thought that was hilarious which only means i'm right i mean and, and then i and then even after i put that podcast out like three days later the movie got canceled Scarlet backed out because she doesn't need it. She just got she just got named because of uh, Avengers: Infinity War. She's the highest paid uh, female actress of 2018, and good for her. I mean, she's killing it. Um, that probably would have been a good role for her. It possibly would have been in like a few years ago. It would have been like an award nominated type of a uh, of a position, you know, a Dallas Buyers Club, you know, transformation kind of a thing. Uh, not now. Um, Apparently, if a trans person cannot play a trans character, then they'd rather not have trans people represented in a movie, uh, which is fucking stupid. And then apparently now, if a gay person can't play a gay character, uh, maybe we just shut the goddamn movie down and you, have, you don't have the first gay character in a Disney movie? How about that? I mean, we, we, you know, I, I, I'm not really getting it. So, you know, point being... Um, and this is not new. This is not just to like trans and gay people. Like even I like I like Samuel L. Jackson. I'm not going to get into Samuel L. Jackson's politics, but uh, when Get Out came out and was it was making you know just such a big splash that it did. Uh, he, he he's even on record. I think it was him uh, that said uh, you know that that role really should have gone to an American, a black American, because uh, the the main actor in Get Out is actually British. Um, you know, and he had political reasons for that. But, you know, would you rather not have that movie be made if, if they needed to fight, if they had trouble? I, I, uh, uh, but it's, it, this is all, uh, you know, framed around. And I know for a fact, I'm so happy that I do these segments on this show. Uh, I wasn't sure about it. And the reason I like that I do them is because I can tell by the like ratio, by the comments, that most people out there in the world are very sensible and have a very even keeled uh, uh, view of the world. People lean left, people lean right, but for the most part we're all kind of swimming around somewhere in the middle and we step back and forth over that line over different issues and we're all different 
Um, and we all, you know, but we were, I'm going to get into this in a minute. I'm getting ready to get into something really, I think, poignant that relates to movies. I promise. I promise. It's one of the, to me, this, I'm leading down this rabbit hole to one of the most important things about movies to me. But this is all about identity politics, and identity politics assumes that your politics are based on the social groups that you belong to, and that's usually seen as your sexuality uh, and your race, but it also includes like education, um, social class, things like that. But it assumes that you, your, your politics are, are rooted in your placement in the social group, and I statistically it is correct but identity politics uh, really frames it as an absolute and I cannot disagree with that more I think it's a horrible idea to think and I think it's honestly when as it pertains to race I honestly think it's a it is a racist view to the point that it will be the pendulum will swing back the other way uh, and it will be viewed as as what people are doing now will be viewed as racist at some point. To assume that because someone, let's just take black because it's always the one that gets used. Sorry to any of my black listeners and followers, but it, it's just the most tangible thing. But to assume that a black person thinks a certain way about uh, gay marriage, abortion, uh, taxes, uh, social programs, whatever, all the major po political uh, uh, elements to assume that they think a certain way because of the color of their skin alone is in fact a racist point of view. It's a sexist point of view for women. It's it's not it's homo. It's not homophobic, but it's it's whatever other word pertains to. You're you're, you're pigeonholing people based on one element in their personality. One element of who they are. The skin color is one, one thing that makes you who you are. And it can be, for some people, based on where they live, uh, a very big portion. But that's where movies come into play. So this is where I get a little sentimental. You know, especially since starting my YouTube channel and recommending a lot of movies and interacting with followers and fans in the comments section. I see that I'm interacting with people of all different races and backgrounds and we're connecting and, and relating to one another through our love for specific movies. And to me, that, that we have more in common. There, there are quite a few, and I, I know that they're black women because of their avatar. There's probably plenty more that don't have a a picture of their faces, their avatar. Quite a few black women that comment on a lot of my videos regularly that have extremely similar taste in movies. I mean, I'm talking not with one movie. I'm talking across hundreds of movie recommendations. They line up with me nine times out of ten. Maybe eight times out of ten, but a lot. I have more in common with that black woman as a, as a white cisgendered male, I'll have more in common with a black lesbian woman, a cisgendered male from Mississippi, originally from Mississippi, I'll have more in common with a, a, a lesbian black woman if we have the same taste in movies. We're connected through that much more than we're separated based on sexual preference and skin color. I feel very, very passionate about that. Um, that's why I hate shit like this. You know, what, what is it? So only, only gay characters can be played by gay people, which means gay people, gay actors cannot play straight people. Cause that doesn't make sense. Uh, and I'm, it's not a tit for tat thing. It's just like, it, it, it's, it's the polar, it's the other side of the coin. It makes perfect sense. Yes, of course, gay actors can play straight characters. Why would they not be able to? That would be that would be horrifically exclusionary to, to do that. If that was a practice in Hollywood, people would be up in fucking arms. And yeah, I get it. If a gay character does is played by a gay person, there's a little something to that maybe, but it's not the most important thing in the world. Um, maybe just kind of having a, 
maybe having a gay character in a Disney movie who's a well-liked, pivotal character in the movie that people from all walks of life identify with in ways outside of... it. Wouldn't that be better? Wouldn't that be more important if you've got maybe middle-aged heterosexual guys who never really quite, quote-unquote, got the whole gay thing? Watch that movie, like it, like that character, identify with him, don't care that he's gay, and, and mentally maybe come around the curve a little bit and be like, oh, okay, gay people are just people. Wouldn't that be a little bit more important than making sure that a gay actor plays that character? Wouldn't that bridge the gap? Or is that not the point? Is the point not to bridge the gap? Is the point to keep people divided so you can keep people mad, you can get, keep people fucking aggravated with each other? Is that the whole point? Because if that's the point, then I think they're, probably, they're, they're, they're nailing it. They're really, got that, they're really getting that figured out. That's really been fine-tuned over the last couple of years. But even though I sound upset, I know my audience is somewhat representative of the people at large, and my audience seems to, for the most part, Nine, nine, 90 out of 100 of you have not the same view as me on everything, but a sensible view on most things. And I think that that's what's important. And for whatever reason, people who disagree, that are on the far extremes of either, either side here, tend to not just be the loudest, but the only ones that get trotted out in situations like that. I think it's time for that to change. I think we need to stop giving so much credit to people who cry wolf and uh, we'll all be happier. Do I think that's going to happen? No, I don't think it's going to happen because there's too much money in uh, touting out people that cry wolf. Uh, but if we stop paying attention, if you realize that most people don't think that way, it's a small minority that are, that are shouting and hooting and hollering on either side again, um, of, of almost any issue, uh, then you'll kind of start to realize, oh, I don't need to get so upset and I don't really need to even be paying attention to these stories that are coming out. 